Today is an exciting day. This is the second to last round of testing we have, just to make sure that the boys' hemoglobin levels are staying steady. More of a precautionary measure, you know the boys are pink, they're eating well and gaining weight, but it's better safe than sorry. Holy moly, he was freaking out. They both didn't eat enough before we left home, so that is always an issue, but I can't force feed them, you know? There we go. There we go. Nom noms. Nom noms. Much happier now. Oh my god, they have better eyelashes than They're me. They're so like wispy and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I just tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, uh -oh. tickle. went well we should be hearing from the hematologist here probably in the next hour or two I would think they're usually pretty fast but in the meantime we are going to go home and get these boys settled back in this is the first time they've cried a lot on a trip like this so what are you gonna do hi right, buddies let's go So I have been doing the Noom app, the Noom diet, and I am down five pounds and two inches. The weight itself is slowly coming off, but you know, the scale is just crap. So losing the inches confirms to me that I am going on the right path. I started working out in the gym again and I also started doing my home workouts, which is the Les Mills um, body pump classes. It's a weight training course, low to medium weight, high rep. I've had a lot of success with it in the past, and I really like that I can just stream it at home. All you need is a barbell with some weights and a weight bench, and you can use free weights if you want, but I've had all that stuff. When the pandemic started, I ordered all this, you know, workout stuff so I could work out at home and not have to go to, they, they do it at the Y, at the YMCA. So I didn't want to be around people. So I started doing it at home. And since the boys are sleeping away, I'm going to get them out of their car seats. And I think I'm going to try to get a workout in. like that something around that time yeah right 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 yeah totally yeah they're gaining weight really well they're very active very pink in the face they're doing really really good so thank you you too all right bye bye all right guys we do not need to get blood checks anymore they are over the hump oh, makes me so happy yay all right cool if this is your first time tuning in we had an issue with RH incompatibility where my boys had fetal anemia and that expressed itself as jaundice and low hemoglobin. I will link an article in the description that talks about RH incompatibility much better than I ever could. That way, if you're curious, you can read about it. Uh, but that is why we've been, you know, having the blood transfusions and checking their blood and just making sure that my antibodies weren't attacking them anymore. 
and they're doing great. So very exciting day for us as a family. Do not need to go get these blood draws, you know, every two weeks, but this is, this is really great. That means we are over the hump. When they cry at the same time, that's probably the hardest time with twins. Have a baby, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It is, though. Most of the time, Most of the time they're pretty good. We you checking your pregnancy? Now that the boys are resting, not screaming bloody murder, I can get myself some lunch. I'm loving this baby Brezza right behind me. Goran found it online and we got the Wi-Fi version. So far, so good. We were using the ready to feed first Similac and then we switched over to Enfamil because, hold on, my foods because there is a formula shortage right now and we can't get the ready to drink Similac anymore. But it's expensive. It's between $8 and $10 per bottle and we're going through almost two bottles a day. So we decided to do powdered formula. We figured out it would save us like at least $170 a month after we recoup the expense of the machine. And it's pretty cool. I am in the process of testing it. We've only had it for a week and then I'll probably do a review of it. I don't know, a month or two. I wanna use it a bunch and really get a feel for it before I give it a review and show you what it's all about. But so far we are enjoying it and the Wi-Fi is super cool. You can make a bottle like while you're lying in bed, but there's like things that have to go into that. You have to have a bottle in the hopper. The funnel has to be clean. You have to clean it every four bottles, which for us is like every two feedings. We've got two kids. So yeah. I'll let you know how it goes. Mmm, wings. Yummy. Mmm, looks like they exploded a bit. <laughs> I had all intentions of doing a workout today, but it's already 3 p.m. And once 3 p.m. hits, I hit a wall. I'm so tired already. Very tiring. Being a mom to two boys. La, 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 la. Max is 13 pounds. Going, I think, 13 and a half pounds. Hair Bear is in the 12 pound range. They are both hitting all of their, you know, milestones and stuff. They're smiling. They're starting to giggle a little bit. Most of the time they're in a good mood. In the evenings, they start to get a little fussy, but I feel like that's just their witching hour. I haven't had much depression, so I'm very lucky there. I have felt a little overwhelmed from time to time. We have begun the search for a part-time nanny, just somebody that can be here to help out when I need to work and get out of the house and do errands and, you know, all the stuff that, that comes into play. So we have begun a search. I was looking on care.com and nanny lane, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to have to do all the background checks and the vetting and the payroll and just, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So I ended up hiring a service locally that finds the nanny, deals with all of the payroll, all of the background checks. All of them are COVID vaccinated. Um, you know, takes care of all that stuff. And then we just, you know, schedule time. And I really want to find somebody so that that's like a consistent person, not just a, you know, a couple of different babysitters because I want them to have a relationship with the kids and, and learn their, you know, ebbs and flows and cycles and things. And we are in a very um, privileged position where we can hire somebody part-time. Um, one of the boys is making noise. I really have a bunch of stuff on my plate and this is going to help me continue to be able to be the best mom that I can be. You know, I'm gonna be 38 in less than a month. And I feel as like being an older first time mom, I don't know, just when you've had more time to live, you, you know yourself better. That's all. 
you know, I'm really glad I didn't have a kid in my 20s because I was a freaking mess in my 20s. I had no idea what was going on. Not to say that, you know, people in their 20s don't know what's going on. I, me specifically, I was a mess. So at like 37, 38 years old, I know that I need help. It takes a village. And I feel literally no guilt or shame about it. Not a drop. I've been through enough therapy in my life to not, you know, not be worried about asking for help. You have to ask for help. So if you are watching this and you are drowning, I say ask for help. Hire help. Ask a family member, friends. There's there's always a person out there that is willing to help you. So you don't have to go through this alone. You know, you are strong and amazing. And asking for help doesn't make you weak. It makes you smart. So smart. All right, I'm going to enjoy these wings. I'm starving and babies are starting to cry again. <laughs> I'm going to shove this food in my face before they... They always cry. They always cry right when I'm about to eat. Happens literally every day. Me and Gorn are just sitting here just about to stuff our faces with dinner and... It's great. So great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got to go. I will uh, see you next week.